Yo, how's it going everyone? So, I've got some upgrades on the scarf, had some bits turn up today, probably be able to tell by the front end of the rail that I wanted to talk over, also wanted to talk over this, this is a uh, Surefire rep from a company called Airsoft Artisan, and what I'm going to very quickly do is go live also on Instagram real quick, uh, and just let everyone know that we are live over here, and what we're going to be talking about today, I think that would be pretty cool. So, uh, what's going on Brad, how are you dude? Uh, if you've got any questions for me, please feel free to fire a moment, looks like the notifications are finally going out. Um, Yo guys, we are live over on Instagram and now we are going to be live over on uh, YouTube. Uh, got the scar here, we've got some upgrades to the scar, nice um, set up uh, across the front and we've got the Surefire as well. Um, so looks like we're having some connection issues, this is why I don't use Instagram. Um, because it says we've got no, no signal. Camo, what's going on guys? So I'm going connection problems, always seems to be something wrong with spiky connection. Um, anyway, so parts, um, they are from a company called Airsoft Artisan, we'll be speaking about those guys, um, might be where to set my phone up and um, go live on both platforms and then just try and keep up on the comments. So let's just go back, I'm going to set the phone up. Um, go live on Instagram as well, let's just do that. That might make things a bit easier. What's going on guys, hope you're good. Um, so yes, we've got some new parts from a company called Airsoft Artisan. Uh, I'm just gonna go live on Instagram as well, um, just because I've got people that I know trying to watch on there. And so I'm just gonna get this stand and I'll put them side by side and go from there. There we go. Right, cool. So, we've got both platforms set up. If you've got any questions for me, obviously, please feel free to fire them over. If you are watching, please throw a thumbs up on the video. It'd be awesome. Um, did Richie PM you the info? No. I haven't spoken to Richie yet today. Um, so, uh, he hasn't PM'd me anything. But if you are watching, please whack a like on the video. That'd be fucking awesome. Okay, um, so let's talk about some of the bits that we were planning on talking about. So I reached out to a company called Airsoft Artisan, they're these guys, uh, you might have seen their logo kicking about before, and essentially Airsoft Artisan do a load of repro parts, and they do some really high quality stuff as well. Um, now, I'm not massively in the market for like one for one parts, and get bits that are, you know, legit or replicas of, of other builds, I'm not that fussed, I just like the look of stuff I like the look of. Um, so, for me, if I can get something that's going to do the job, that's going to work, then I'm more than happy to do that. But at the same time, um, if there are parts or if there are manufacturers of parts um, that do stuff that's really cool and does look like replica kit, then I'm always more than happy to have a look at it. So, I'm just going to show you guys a close up of this. This is uh, the Surefire um, replica SF. Uh, suppressor that the guy sent me. Now this is, I don't know if you can see the colour of it, absolutely stunning colour wise. Um, so I'll show you guys, let's try again. ATRG, what's up dude? For some reason, the router in the office absolutely hates when I'm on my mobile devices. Uh, Red Alpha Group, what's up guys? Um, trying to get some people over to YouTube, it'd be much better to watch on YouTube because the video quality is much better. Anyway, Try again. So, I was talking about this. This is uh, Airsoft Artisan Surefire Replica Suppressor. Uh, quality of the video on Instagram, as usual, is absolutely shocking. Um, but it is a very, very good copy with a correct working ratchet system. And then also internally, uh, it's all spring guided. And then there's also um, like a, a muzzled section at the end. So, as you can probably see now on Instagram uh, and on YouTube. So the way that this works is that you put it on the Surefire, I've got a Surefire four prong on the end of here. Um, again, another really, really nice part of the replica uh, and really nice part of the build. You just slap the thing on like so, so it locks into place and turn this rear ring and the ratchets on like so. 
It's really, really quick and easy to put on, and the quality of the build is absolutely insane. Um, I do know that, like, there's some companies out there, I'm trying to think of the name of them, you guys will probably know, is it Angry Gun? But they do like a $400 version of this suppressor, uh, and this is one of the best that I've seen. So what I'll also show you real quick is the flash hider, Instagram, obviously the video's shit. Um, guys, if you're watching on Instagram, uh, if you wouldn't mind doing me a favour, jump over to theheresygroup.com. The quality of the video is much, much higher. Um, so if you are watching on Instagram, jump over to YouTube, just go to theheresygroup.com um, and then you can check it out. So as you can see guys, on the YouTube video, very, very good quality suppressor, including the official, like the low, um, you can probably going to struggle this, but it has got the tapered end. So this is a very, very good quality copy. Um, again, am I trying to replicate or emulate anything? Not really. Um, but in regards of, of quality of, of copy, this is absolutely insane. So again, I'll just show you how that ratchet system works up close. So you just whack the suppressor on the end, turn it until it clips into place, and then turn the bottom and you're locked in. And that's literally it, it's on super, super solid. Can't come undone until so you turn that, turn that rear bottom end and then you're ready to go. Now, the Angry Gun versions of these um, retail, like I've mentioned before, for about $400. Um, and these are super cheap. I think they're about $60, something like that. Um, so they are super cheap. <coughs> um, Brad, we'll send it over as it has the rules for next month. Cheers, dude. Uh, we'll start bringing on, my boy. Um, guys, if you are watching over on Instagram, jump over to YouTube. The quality is way fucking better and I can keep an eye on things a little bit easier. Ben Starling, what's up, my boy? Um, so, yes. So that, right, is one part of it. Now, if I move you guys a bit closer, you're going to see the other part of the upgrade. This is something that I've wanted to do to the platform for a long time. And also, this is a very different rail from what Richie's got. So a lot of you guys are going to know, you know, Richie runs an upgraded rail on the front of his, he's got the PTS one. Um, I didn't want to do that, so I've gone for the Parker Mountain Machine um, replica. So, Parker Mountain Machine do a lot of custom scar parts. I spoke to Parker Mountain Machine about maybe two years ago, um, maybe a year ago, when I first started getting bits for the 416. Parker Mountain Machine used to do some 416 parts. Then they started doing parts for the scar. They I spoke to them last night was ITAR. So because they're ITAR, means that I can't get hold of them, which sucks, right? Um, we're reconnected on YouTube again, and I just don't know why. Don't know why we're having issues, but we are for some reason. Um, Anyway, where do you get the Airsoft Artisan stuff from? So I got it direct from Airsoft Artisan. Uh, so I emailed them and I said, look, I'm really interested in some of the parts for the SCAR. Uh, and during that conversation, we, we struck up uh, a bit of a deal that I do some fitting videos uh, of the parts and then uh, that he would send me some bits. So that's where I got them from. But you can get them direct from the Airsoft Artisan website. Um, looks like guys have jumped over onto YouTube, which is awesome, and now YouTube's playing up. Honestly, it's all about to go in the fucking bin. We're about to jump on this stream again. Right, so it's just said reconnecting. Hopefully you guys can see me, let me know if you can. Uh, uh, live chat. Let's see. Class Wars Voodoo, what's still going on guys? Uh, learn more. So, it just says reconnecting, so let me get go, go, no guys on YouTube if you can see me. Uh, okay, scan mode, perfect. So look, uh, there is a slight change to the front end. Uh, I'll show you the original rail, so it comes in this box, the kit. Uh, this is the logo for Airsoft Artisan. And you can see the logo there. But what you end up getting is, I'm going to take it apart, a replacement for a lot of the kit. So. Your side rails are like this. This is the side rail from the scar. They're very, very deep. 
um, in regards to the overall platform height. And so you swap them out with this really nice um, M-Lock version, and on the M-Lock version it's much, much shallower. So because it's much shallower, you get a much tighter grip around the actual frame of the scar itself. Now another nice thing about this is the depth of the bottom and also the weight. So this is my old bottom um, off of the bottom of here. With the M-Lock version, it's mu again much, much shallower. So, for me, removing the depth of this, if you look at them, let me try to get them sort of side by side, there we go, you can see how much more this sticks down. Now, yeah, it's only about three, four mil, but this M-Lock version just really neatens up the bottom of the gun. Uh, so, weight-wise, this is much lighter, um, and then also, uh, from, from this perspective, just the, the actual height off the bottom of the gun, uh, it's much nicer. Now, around the actual gas block itself, this is a separate section. You can just buy this kit, so the side rail replacement, the bottom rail replacement, and this side rail. Um, but I went for the full front end kit. What I'm going to do is get the M lock mount for this that puts it up at an angle, and I'm going to put the torch somewhere there on this side. So it's a little bit further forward, away from this handguard. Uh, and it's just going to sit about here, which means it's been nice and accessible. I've taken all the base plate off. I'm literally waiting for it to turn up at the moment. Uh, so I will be keeping this on. I just need to get it back on there somewhere. Um, it really needs up the front end of the gun, like I've mentioned before. Uh, I'll just spin this around so you can see this side. It's essentially identical on both sides, um, but it really does neaten it up. You can also see that front uh, prong, four prong adapter, the surefire one. Uh, again, really, really nice flash hider. Um, what's going on Black Sheep Tactical, how are you going guys? So, it's really slimmed up the front, I want to get a little hand stop in here somewhere, I'm a fan of the hand stops, um, but I do want to get something for the front, uh, and, and I will be doing a fit video for this, uh, and I will also be showing you exactly how to fit this, because you have to strip the whole gun down, um, essentially to fit it. Uh, do me a favour, send me a link to that. Uh, yeah, there'll be a link um, on this when it goes up on YouTube, which will be over the next couple of weeks. Um, time for a short barrel? No, I can't do it. Um, I like the length of this. I don't want to go down to a uh, CQC sort of length. Um, I, I must admit, I do like the, the scar rail with that, that extended front. Also, for all of you that know, uh, the inner barrel for me is there. So you guys can see that. Uh, on now on Insta, now on YouTube, my inner barrel comes right to the end of the of the outer barrel. So because of that, it means I can put a real long inner in here. It just gives me wicked reach uh, and really good accuracy. So Tim's only short every inch counts, Richie. Yeah, that's very true. Saying that though, Richie has caught me flapping it about a couple of times, so we're all good. Um, if you are watching on YouTube, guys, whack a like on the video, that'd be fucking awesome. We've got like 30 people watching, and please feel free to fire them over. But ideally, for the guys on Insta, if you head over to YouTube, that's where it's happening. We've got a lot of comments popping off over on YouTube. Uh, yeah, clean lines. Do you know what? It's just one of those things now, even for the bottom of the platform, uh, not having that really wide Picatinny area um, has just made the bottom of the gun incredibly clean. So, you know, it's a much smoother up the front. Um, the, I definitely feel like I want a hand stop on here because it's a bit too smooth. Uh, but the overall um, depth, breadth of the platform is, is, is much, much nicer. Um, what I've also found with the platform after playing with it a lot over the last sort of week or so is that having the short dot on here has really balanced out the gun. Uh, it sounds really weird, but it just feels so much more balanced. I've been doing a lot of practice of a lot of drills, um, and that added balance really is beginning to help. I'm really beginning to get used to this platform uh, as it is. So, um, is it true putting your inner barrel into your suppressor is for chucks, mate? Hundred percent. If you if you run it into a into a suppressor, it means you've got to run the suppressor at all times, and uh, suppressors are only for uh, for night time.
in a barrel length for a UK legal aid years bug and all to do with power and accuracy over about 10 inches. For a youth, I, I don't know what that means. What? So you're telling me that if I have anything over 10 inches, it's not going to make any difference? <sighs> then again, I don't know how much I would trust information from like airsoft action, to be fair. The magazine is fucking terrible. Um, so I don't know if I would trust the information from them. Uh, anyway, uh, is it true putting you in a barrel into, oh, <laughs> into your suppressor? Looks sexy as fuck, yeah, I absolutely love it. Um, I must admit, with the edgy platform, the edgy barrel that's in here, um, it's been very, very good. And what I've found with this setup over the original setup from TM, uh, especially with the R-Hop uh, and that little bit of extra punch that I've got from this over standard, it's been very, very good. Um, Airsoft Action TV. What BBs are you using? 0.32s. I'm using this. Um, <laughs> Brooksy would rather read the Beano. Uh, Airsoft Action TV from who? Uh, so I've been using the last bag of 3.2s that I got was from Jeff's. I've tried. Uh, BLS, which have been very, very good. They've probably been my favourite up to this point. Uh, Richie runs New so I've tried New Prols and I've tried New uh, and I've tried ASG as well. Um, and so far, I think the BLS have been my favourite. Um, I like Jeffs. The only thing that I found with my last bag of Jeffs is that they were really dirty. If Miguel or Merrick is anywhere on here, on either of the platforms, uh, they clean my barrel out and they said to me, oh, what BBs have you been using? Uh, and I said, I've, I've just tried a bag of Jeff's and my barrel was absolutely black. Uh, Jeff's didn't perform well for us. Uh, <laughs> okay, Zach, 1998. What's up, dude? Uh, Gary Smithers, what's up, dude? Yeah, so, um, I have found that just the way that this has been built out, uh, I'm getting some really incredible range uh, from this uh, and some really good performance from it. The gun is incredibly snappy. So a few people were asking me about you know, what you get from the MOSFET and the way that I've got my MOSFET set up. So what I wanted to very quickly do was finger bang some guns because everyone fucking loves that. Um, and talk about uh, the particular settings that I run on my MOSFET and, and how you can determine how they perform in the gun. Uh, so, the way that I have my trigger set up, I have 20% kickback release, uh, roughly uh, uh, sort of as a description. So what does that mean? It means that when I pull my trigger in, I don't have to let it all the way out before I let it back in again. Um, Uh, so, <laughs> Nick's going to pull you to bits. I love it. Um, so, what that means, again, you can do a 20% let off or a 40% let off. I, mine is a 20%, is so I only have to let off a little bit. So what that means is once I pull the trigger in, don't worry, there's no BBs in it. Um, I pull the trigger in like so. Like so, sorry. And you can see how sensitive it is. I have to let it off a very little bit and then pull back in again. I don't have to let it all the way back out. So again, pull it in, and then let it off a tiny bit, and then back in again. So I don't have to release the trigger all the time. So what it means is you can get a really, really snappy gun. So you can go, and it doesn't skip a beat. What it also means is that I've turned the braking off on here in some of the other settings, which means from an automatic perspective, this gun really kicks out some rounds. It's also super loud. So, for me, I've very rarely gone to auto unless I really want to piss someone off or someone is not, um, you know, taking a hit in which they'll get a burst of BBs. Uh, whoever just wrote BTC for life, you need to grab, catch up. Um, honestly, you will not get better than the gate type. People talk about BTCs. Welcome to, like, fucking 2020. Um, Snow comes, so comes to life UK, what's up, dude? Uh, yeah, the trigger equaliser. This thing just absolutely kicks. Mark 18, what's going on, dude? How are you, mate? Um, 
<laughs> yeah, never get the gearbox to lock, exactly. Uh, no scambo. We said when we tested them, they were 200% less accurate than... 200% less accurate? The fuck? 200% less accurate than G&G or ASG Devils. How the fuck do you get 200% less accurate? I have no idea how their metrics work, but whatever. Um, insane rate of fire, ban it. Shut up, Richie. Um, Richie actually made me do this. They paid 200% less avenue revenue. Oh, it's going off in the comments. Um, yeah, 11 inch group compared to a five, six inch group at 20 meters. What? 11 inch at 20 meters. So I shoot 30 meters at my home and uh, videos on the channel here go that cheap plug from Airsoft Action. Yay, well done guys. Um, go and watch our video please. Um, I shoot 30 meters uh, at home. Uh, that's the length of my range from, from here to the back of my shooting area. Uh, and for this gun, uh, I can't show you because my phone is there, but this gun shoots a fist sized group at 30 meters. That's not bullshit. That's me standing shooting. That isn't rested or anything like that. That is me just stood shooting. Uh, it will do a fist size, so I've got quite small fists, so probably about four inches uh, at 30 meters. <laughs> what are you using a gel glass? <laughs> oh shit. Um, Richie, you need to be on uh, YouTube, mate. It's going off. Absolutely hysterical. The video is on the channel. Fucking brilliant. Um, so, guys, yeah, go and check out the 200 and whatever it is. Uh, Stevie. <laughs> Stevie. Fuck, I love you guys. You make me so happy. Okay. So... That's this, that's these components. Um, really love this again, just slap the thing on the end like so. Spin it until it locks into place, lock the back. And uh, that's your surefire suppressor on, absolutely love it. Love the look of it, coloration is fucking awesome. Um, look at those colors, look at that, look lovely and shiny. Um, so the other thing I wanna talk about, Richie's gonna get upset, because I'm gonna man manhandle Richie's goods. Um, so this next time that Richie will see me, we'll be upset. But I love you, Richie, and I just want to show you some of the shit that we got sent. So I know lots of people are having trouble getting hold of... Oh, fuck. Uh, so I know a lot of people are truck struggling to get hold of tag round stuff at the minute. I'm not saying it's the Globe, but they did send us a load of stuff. So thank you very much to the guys over at Tag Innovation. We love you. Thank you so much for your support. Richie has been funding your business for the last few years. So, let us off. <coughs> so, this is the, um, this is the Pro Shell. This is my personal Pro Shell. Uh, and as you can see, it's got a three and a half second Reaper round in the end. Uh, if you ever leave your round in, I have been drinking, um, don't try and pinch the end to get it out. Grab the base, like so. Grab the base of it and pull. Uh, <laughs> unscrew your outer shell. Takes a little while, like so. And then just gently push from the black part of the outer on the bottom. And your shell will pop out there. But... <laughs> and there you go. That's one way of getting your shell out. Okay, so this is my pro shell. Uh, um, this is the one. Let's just see. Back. Um, so these are exactly the same dimensions, just just something to be aware of. Um, why does this live chat seem like a Guy Ritchie movie? <laughs> Everyone's giving it the big and I fucking love it, it's the best. Uh, um, okay, uh, a Mackie's paper door, love it boys, and that collapsible metal straw, because title. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> so these are the two, uh, this is the new tagging pro shell, this is, the, uh, this is the gas shell, this is the pro shell. What I wanted to show you was this, this is the new fist, this is the fist two. 
Um, the fist one is in the other room, so I'm not going to get it. But it is a very, very different design. And so this still will still run on your CO2 adapter. Uh, it's still on screws. Notice it's got a much, much shorter nozzle. Um, so something to consider. The fist two isn't great. Um, like I say, me and Richie have been running tags for a long, long time, and we put a lot of tag rounds out. So we want to have this. Um, so, not going to go too much into this, but this is the new Pro Shell Evo. Um, this is CO2 powered, this is rated up to 850 PSI, so this thing is an absolute monster. What I wanted to make clear to you guys is that they are very different in their height. So I'm just going to put these bases at the bottom. Uh, there is quite a significant difference. So what this just means is that if you've got any um, pockets, if you've got any 40 mics, if you've got anything set, these are a slight bit taller than the, uh, than the Pro Shell Evo, so definitely something to consider when you are loading these up. Also, if you've got uh, any of the shorter launchers, it means that if you're using these shells, uh, that you could potentially have a shorter launcher if you are talking about cutting them down. So, I've cut down my pirate gun. I took about an inch and a half off the end of this. So, what I'm gonna do is just throw this in like so. You can see that there is a lot of room in there to give if you wanted to trim this down even further. Um, so that's one thing. And then if you use the old one, then um, you still can, but essentially they're just less clearance at the front. So definitely something to consider. Right, so Richie, pre-order for the ASG calendar is Monday. Uh, only one that is going to pre-order a fucking calendar with Femme Fatale in it. My God. Then again, she writes for Airsoft Action, so there you go. Says it all, guess. But anyone that would pre-order that calendar is fucking dumb. Anyway, uh, so from <coughs> the tag perspective, there is a difference in the shells. Um, just something for you to be aware of. So uh, we've got this one, and then we've also got the new HPA shell as well. Uh, yeah, just bit more heavy. iPads absolutely having none of it tonight, clearly. But um, straight out the bottom of the box. Tartal food and high guys, it's Kelly. Yeah, good, 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 good work. Well done. Uh, I'll pay for them not to release that can. Mate, that calendar's going to get so much hate. I honestly have never received so many inboxes about a post that was put up. Um, I got sent about 30 memes. I will put the rest of the memes from the Airsoft calendar thing up uh, at some point um, because they are hysterically. Whoever photoshopped the dildo onto Kelly's body, so it's Kelly's body and gun with just a dildo for a head, it's the funniest one I've seen so far. <coughs> ABG training, can't wait. So, that's the different shells. Um, these two are, I'm going to be running these two out quite hard uh, over the next winter. Um, and then we will be doing a review of them, but we'll also be doing a comparison between all four. So, when uh, we're talking about all four, we've got the Green Gas, the Pro Shell 1, then we've got the HPA, and then we've got the Pro Shell Evo. So, all of them will be getting tested side by side. Um, absolutely love the comments tonight on uh, YouTube. I've had me in absolute bits. Uh, I think because of the position that we're in with YouTube uh, and with all the channel being pretty much demonetised, um, yay, thanks YouTube. Uh, we will probably be doing uh, some stuff that's a little bit more loose uh, and being a little bit more free with what we're able to say, especially on YouTube. We won't be doing as much on Instagram, but we will be doing more on YouTube. Um, anyone that's talking about boxes of tags and all that sort of thing, um, they are very difficult to get hold of. And we will be... Oh, look, still got paper on top. Oh, boy! Um, 
Yeah, it might be my connection. It hasn't been great tonight um, for some reason. But, uh, if anyone's asked for tags, the Reapers come in in October. Um, so expecting to be hitting the shelves in the UK late October. Uh, that's when they'll be coming in. So if you're after tags, that's the place to go. Uh, anyone that is still remaining on Insta, um, you may as well jump over to YouTube because that's where it's going off. Uh, if people want boxes, I can get good deals. Brad, there you go then. Speak to that guy. He can get them for you. Right, any questions, comments? Uh, and we'll wait to see what comes in. Uh, it's honking. <laughs> it is fucking honking. Um, get it for the MVG training. Yeah, bring your. Uh, Brad, if you can get them, bring them down for the MVG. Uh, Edge Faction are quiet. <laughs> This isn't exactly their playground, is it? Uh, they just got scambo'd. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, new Pro Shell, does the old fist still work? No, apparently it doesn't. Um, so the old, uh, the, uh, essentially, let me get it. So on the old Pro Shell and um, with the old fist, this is really long, that filling nozzle, show you on both, that filling nozzle is quite long on the old fist, on the new fist it's really short, so if you try and put it in this one, it doesn't reach, it doesn't get all the way down to the bottom, uh, it's probably Kelly, no, she wouldn't, she wouldn't come and hang around with us lot, listen, I, uh, where's the best place? Uh, to message you about MVG1 dude, A Bulbasaur. Um, message the heresy group at gmail.com if you've got questions about MVG1. Uh, it's sold out though, so if you want to get people on, uh, we can't. Uh, original fist does work on the pro shell. Yeah, the original fist works on this pro shell, but the original, uh, but the fist too won't work with this. So the original fist will work on the others, but the um, fist two does not work on the original pro shell on this one. Migsy, what's up dude? Real 187, what's going off? Uh, Airsoft action, I think I've left this. Um, had a few problems with the end not resetting. The end of what dude? Sorry mate, uh, missed it. It's uh, what torch you run in? It's Eagle Ash by the way. With Charles, what's up, boy? Um, had a few problems in the set of fire. Uh, been a big fan of your content for some time. Looking forward to meeting you if you're going to the trees in November. Craig, yes, I should be there. Uh, Fist two, uh, raid six. Yeah, everyone's over on on the uh, on YouTube. Uh, guys, if you are on YouTube, please do me a massive favour. Just whack a thumbs up on the video. I fucking love that. I hate begging for that shit, but um, it is really good and it's really good for like our algorithm and all that crap. The more likes we get. We don't get any more money, but um, we, it does stuff. It will just help us get our videos out there. So there's 30 of you there. If a few of you could whack a thumbs up, that'd be really, really great. Um, and I'd appreciate it and love you all and all that bullshit. Uh, torch I'm running. I run this. It's a repro of the uh, 300 Vampire. So the M300V from Surefire. Uh, why do I like it? Well, you can't ND it because it has a lovely off position, uh, like some of the other torches that are out there. Uh, obviously the Inforce ones um, and the Travis Haley sort of torches, they're very easy to ND, whereas with this, uh, you can fuck about with this as much as you like uh, and it, it won't ND. Uh, it's also got a wipe, so you can tell if it's a real bit vampire because it has two lenses in there. So let me just come up down here. See, it's got two little lenses. The, the yellow one is white light and the black one is IR light. If you're over on YouTube, you're going to be able to see it much better. Uh, that's why I like this. So white light can white light a room up if I want to. Uh, we can have a little naughty rain. We'll tell some ghost stories. Uh, and then also, uh, if you are out on the nods gang and you want to light a room up that you think people have got nods in and you just want to bloom their nods out with some IR light, uh, then you can do that with this one. Uh, whether you'll be able to see. Oh, there you go. Look, a little bit of purple. Woo! And for this one, a little bit of purple. There you go. Woo! Um, so. 
you can use both white light and IR, which is in YouTube. Here we go, it's about to go off. Um, my tag tubes have just doubled in price now, Tim's finger banged it. Uh, I've finger banged most things, to be fair. Um, to be, a fact, to, to be quite honest, uh, one of these looked quite attractive to me once. Um, how much were they and where were they from? What are you talking about? Uh, the torch or the tag tubes? Uh, if you want to know how much the tag tubes are, I have absolutely no idea. Uh, absolutely none at all. Uh, let me have a quick look at this. Some say if you look Tim in the eye, you automatically get an erection. That's true, especially when they're really like pinholey. Um, like first thing in the morning, my eyes are really pinholey and weird. Um, so uh, definitely worth having a look at your first thing in the morning. Ah, Torch Beast Gem 1 uh, Russian Surplus MVGs. Torch. Uh, every single time. JTFO, what's up guys? Uh, if you are watching over on Instagram, go to YouTube because all the cool kids are over there uh, and they're throwing things and fighting with karate chops and daggers. It's fucking incredible. So, uh, use a dog and a white stick instead. Totally agree. Don't do Gen 1. Uh, I've been there, I've tried it, I've done it. Um, like some other things in life, you try it once but you won't go back to it again. Like drinking ale. Okay, any more questions? Oh, where is the torch from, you drunken man? Uh, I got it, I got this uh, AliExpress, and really hard to find the actual V. So when you look up M300, um, Shrek's piss, no, it's just the bottom of the glass, look, it's um, funky. These, they, they're talking about Shrek's piss glasses. Uh, but everyone is, there's only three people on Instagram uh, because everyone is over on YouTube. Um, much love for AliExpress. AliExpress gang. Yeet! <laughs> um, uh, love a bit of AliExpress. Uh, Tim throws off a new, uh, throws off a YouTube. No, now uh, Airsoft Action TV have gone. Uh, I'm really happy on our channel plugging their videos. Because you guys are really going to be interested in what Airsoft Faction have got to say. Anyway, without being out of order, so up, dude? How are you, Dan? Long time no see. Um, come over to YouTube. Welcome over. It's very easy to find us. Uh, all the cool kids are over there. Um, AliExpress is basically the Hilton of EBS. <laughs> it fucking is. Um, but yeah, you can find them. Uh, this is the 300V. It normally has that little uh, mount on it where you can get it with one of these. Uh, to adjust to attach it to a Picatinny rail, um, but I've taken it off because of the M block light. So now that there's a few of you guys on, I will quickly breeze you through this again, just one more time, just in case there's any more questions. Uh, these components are from Airsoft Artisan, uh, like this. Uh, this guy, Airsoft Artisan, um, sent me a really nice suppressor. Um, this is a Surefire Rep. It's the five-inch version. <laughs> hey, here he is, Dan Stango. Um, and I've got to admit, it's fucking gorgeous. Um, I know a lot of you guys are like gear whores and thread whores and all that shit, but if you want a really nice surefire rep, um, this is definitely one that I would recommend getting, especially without um, going on to Angry Gun and paying like $400 or whatever it is. Um, they're, they're stupidly expensive. These are much cheaper. They've got a proper ratchet system. This is a really nice suppressor. Any of you guys that I'm going to see over the next month, two months, if you want to check this out, let me know, um, give me a shout and I'll bring it to events for you to have a look at. So if not, go and check out Airsoft Artisan, stuff's really cool, it's got the proper ratchet system, so you just literally bang it on, turn it until it locks into place, I don't know what, oh, I've turned it, I'm, I'm an idiot, so all the way to the bottom like so, give it a turn until it locks into place. <laughs> just turn the ratchet, Jesus fucking Christ. Um, getting it off again, you don't have to unscrew loads of shit, just turn it like that and take the thing off. Uh, then I get it right and stop being an absolute idiot. 
You just turn it and lock it, it's really simple. And then again, get it off again, push the button in, wind it, take it off. I'm being an absolute mong, sorry guys. Um, and then other than that, they do this. This is a, a replica of the um, Parker Mountain Machine kit, which is the full M-Lock front. It's very different from the kit that Richie's got, which is why I've got it. Uh, me and him can't be running the same shit, it's not cool, is it? But um, really, really nice, really well done. There's a full fitting video, it's about 35, 40 minutes long. Um, 35 people up on the stream if any of you that haven't dropped me a like please like me a like uh, like me drop me a like fuck what's going on you can tell I've been drinking it's been a drinky Friday there's a battery in here as well uh, and I absolutely love this thing at the moment I've got this trigger set so sensitive it's just such a light pull do it for fun so you guys can see it's you know absolutely ballistic um I love this thing at the moment. It is just so, so good. And then the rate of fire as well. Lots of people said to me about the rate of fire, um, you know, just why do people ramp it up? You know, if you're not using it all the time, it's so much fun. When you've got someone in the crosshairs that you've put a few shots at and you feel like you've hit them and then just... Any other questions, fire them over now. I have actually run out of gin at this point. So, things will probably start getting a little bit weird. Uh, okay, comments. Comments, comments, comments. Let's go through. Um, so excited. Looks like you're drinking straight I still love that. Um, you're better off looking through the bottle of a taxidermy cat than buying Gen 1. That's very, very true. Well put. Um, do you own a TM Mark 23? No. Uh, uh, can't believe Dan Stango's on my YouTube. Uh, and then, likey, likey, Titan Life. I made so, so good. Titan, best upgrade in the TM that you can do, hands down. Nothing comes close. Uh, no fire, try firing in the safe zone. Fuck safe zones. Um, Crypto Alchemist, 10 minutes. But what a cool name. Uh, what's your thoughts on VFC Avalon? Uh, so, while YouTube is reconnecting for some reason, we have to spin everyone around, go to a slightly different area of the office. Uh, join the stream in here because it's louder. How's it going, bud? Got my first meal soon tomorrow. Any quick advice, Dom son? Um, advice for your first meal soon. Take loads of water, take more food than you need. Uh, be aware that you might not get the weather that you're expecting. Uh, take a spare pair of socks, take baby wipes. Even if you're feeling good and golden and you have a good clear out before you go to an event, always take some baby wipes. You never know when the uh, kind of screamy poo-poos might come. Uh, and other than that, yeah, we're good. Did you test the JTEC AG40s yet? No, destructive hobo. Haven't been anywhere near uh, the uh, JTAC bands. Uh, I've been using the GR20 for a long period of time, and honestly, the loading mechanism drives me fucking crazy. Uh, I definitely want to try them out. I really want to see what he's doing. I, I love the look of them, um, but I fucking hate that loading mechanism. Uh, although they may be different to his, but from what I've seen, they replicate a lot of the GR20. And for me, uh, I've been using one for a long period of time. I've blown my hand up with one, um, but uh, I, I'm just, I don't know. That, that, uh, that mechanism, I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, okay, uh, why are you show Anyway, I don't know what that means. Charles Woodfield, please explain. Take disgusting amounts of anti chafe gear. Uh, yeah, definitely uh, towel cup your nuts before you go. Uh, hey mate, going combat airsoft Tefford tomorrow. Tefford, Thiefford, Thefford, Thefford, Uh Hi guys, people joining back over on Insta, probably because of the issues that we're having with the connection. Have no idea why we're having issues. Uh, Dan Grey Fox, all the guys are over on YouTube. If you fancy bouncing over, nice one. Got everything then. Your videos and advice have served me. Well, Sensei, thank you very much. Um, appreciate that, anything that we can do. Myself and Richie love helping people out, so it's awesome. Uh, the Trees Combat Mission, how is it? Uh, I haven't done a combat mission at the Trees. Um, we done a, a kind of hard routine weekend there. Uh, it was very good, I love the Trees. Probably my favorite site in the UK, to be completely honest. Uh, it's tough, it's difficult terrain. It's very easy to get kind of dug in ground-wise and um, yeah, I absolutely love the site. I think me and Richie both really enjoy it there. Uh, we're gluttons for punishment, so yeah, super enjoy that. 
Okay, before I wrap this up, 10 o'clock, I need to go inside uh, and get a drink. How did you find the tag HPA shell good range? Uh, J, K, cassette, is that right? Uh, K, K, J, cassette. Um, we haven't fired them yet. They only turned up a few days ago, so uh, we will be using all of them and comparing all of them. We will do a video on them. Um, so I will test all of the tag shells with Richie at some point. If you don't want to smell like athlete's foot, use baby wipes on your gooch. That's very true. Um, always stay clean, boys. Always stay clean. Uh, trees combat mission, how is it? Uh, that is the combat. The combat mission was point space. Or was that? I don't know. Who knows? The other way around. Anyway, we've done like a hard routine weekend at the trees. It was fucking awesome. Um, sorry, Dan, if I've got that wrong. I don't know. I've been drinking. Who cares? Um, right. First meal sim, go rogue, get banned. Yes, if you can at any point go rogue and hurt lots of people, then do it. Gladys for it's a no from me. Sorry, Bob. Uh, oh, have a pity, please, Bob. <laughs> yeah, I, I just am worried about, uh, I don't know. I love Mike. I love what he's trying to do with Legion, but um, I think... It's not quite where I thought it would be, personally. You know, from a punter's perspective, I haven't been to one of his events in a little while, so maybe it has changed a lot, but it just, I don't know. Long, it's long more, I think. The last time I went, the site wasn't used particularly well. You know, they put everyone in the new buildings, which meant you, you couldn't attack anyone at night. Um, I just think there were some mistakes made that were that were fairly simple, and I think the gameplay felt a little bit flat, especially for a hundred quid. It's fucking expensive. Um, you know, uh, I spoke to Mike, and, and Mike, I think he's really beginning to get it. people don't want a squaddy experience. They want door kicking, bangs, flash bangs, killing people. You know, laser beams and all that sort of shit. So. I really do hope that Legion come on a little bit, but 100 quid for that risk is just not worth it. Uh, Brad, done a battle sim at the start of the year and it was awful. Okay, well, there you go then. Um, so probably not for us, um, to be completely honest. I don't like fucking wasting money on events. In fact, it's probably my biggest bugbear is when you pay for an event, you turn up and the guys are like, well, there's no taskings or there's not this or there's not that or there's excuses, right? I mean, Defiant was the worst. Um, they turned up on the site, they lost you know, a third of the site before it even started. Then we rolled out on the ground, and before we'd even got out on the ground, they told us there was no pyro like after 10. Then there was this other shit, and I just, you know, before you knew it, there was excuses about the gameplay changing. And, you know, that isn't a dig at Nathan or, or whoever, you know, someone was pulling the strings that changed the gameplay. But Defiant for me was like an event where we rolled down there and. I just thought to myself, this is going to be very different from what I expected. And then before we know it, it had all gone to shit, you know. And me and Richie are out at three o'clock in the morning and we're taking targets and dropping people and going in um, with a couple of other lads and everyone else is kipped up, you know, and they can't be fucked. And then, you know, one of the teams gets the arsehole at night because we went to stand in their, in their pit. Um, so, I don't know, you know, Defiant was one for me. I, I just don't like paying for an event and then not getting what I feel is the event's worth. Uh, da -da -da -da. Richie, the heresy group, ready for the skirmish next month. Uh, you want a meal scene to be like an SF strike op, not a military exercise. Scambo, totally agree. Um, I, I do agree. You know, I think some parts of it you want bit of, you know, recce and, you know, some patrolling and hearts and minds. I think that's important, right? To some people, especially if you're new to a meal scene, that kind of allows you to sort of lose your nerves a little bit. But um, you're right. I mean, people want to do like door kicking and cool shit. And like the bad guys want to be bad guys. They want to execute people. They want to kidnap people. They want to take hostages. They want to take IEDs. They want to cause, you know, problems. They want to do drug deals. They want to, you know, they, they want to take on the role of a bad guy. And the good guys want to take on the role of a good guy. They want to, you know, do room clearing and building clearing and, and cordoning and all that sort of shit, you know. Um, and I still think, hands down, no one has got close to Sterling. I think the first CAG was good uh, at Otterburn, and I felt like that.
that really pushed some limits, like with, with uh, Kazbak and, and the other stuff, they had drones and all this other shit, but I feel like that was a one-off. Uh, losing all night ops, yeah, totally. As soon as you lose the night ops, I'm gone. Um, you know, that's what I'm there for. Is a media blackout just seen on, it's a media blackout just seen on the email, lots of, what, Brad, sorry mate, what's a, what's a media blackout? Uh, I didn't get that, uh, I've lost, um, Sterling Cameron was pretty boring, especially after how much hype it was to be told that he was only really going to get good tasks if you know the organisers wasn't what I wanted to hear. Yeah, I, I think, you know, Kerwin was definitely difficult for everyone. Brad, I'm just there for the pictures. Who, media blackout, it's not happening. Uh, lots of working parts going on at once. Yeah, totally agree. <coughs> Next project, gun on the wish list. Fucking good question, don't know yet. Team Tech's gun is a G36. Get to fuck, pal. Um, Stanter, yeah, looking forward to Stanter. Why... That's why Trees is the best event. There's no hiding, it's as real as it gets. Yeah, Craig, I totally agree. That's why I like the Trees. Um, I think that's why me and Richie have got a lot of flexibility with the quarry, is that we can do whatever the fuck we want down there. I think that's the, that's the clearest thing. Um, Airsoft Action, you are over on Instagram. Um, It says in there, we need Milsons like Milson West in the US. Gambino, I agree and I disagree. I love the idea of four or five buildings, helicopters, all the vehicles and all the cool shit that they have at Milson West. Having 800 people or whatever it is, uh, 400, 500 people on a field at once is very difficult and you end up with people uh, at the events that don't get to join in. So Birgit and, and all these other big events, you know, in, in Sweden, Norway, Poland, Russia, all these other huge airsoft events. I know lots of teams that have gone and not got the interaction or engagement that they wanted because, you know, they are constantly fighting with 400 people to get to the front line. So I agree. I love the idea of Summer Mills in West, but at the same time, I think, you know, uh, it doesn't particularly work in, in some cases. What airsoft YouTuber, YouTuber would you like to co collaborate with? None. There isn't any airsoft YouTubers that I'd like to collaborate with, really. I don't know. I speak to Richie as well, but I mean, there's no one that springs to mind that I think is uh, where we'd like to collaborate. You know, we, we're very much set on doing our own thing. There's definitely some individuals uh, within the community that I'd love to work with and do some stuff with, like individuals, but in regards to airsoft youtubers there's no one that we'd like to collaborate with i wouldn't mind doing some games with some people but i'm not in any any hurry to go and you know do a collaboration video i don't do gameplay so there's no real interest for me um there's also no one really that i look at and think oh they're, they're doing something new or something cool um but no there isn't any youtubers that i want to work with or do anything with wow you way back there <laughs> You way back there! Um, but yeah, there's no one. Uh, what airsoft YouTuber would you want to collaborate with? Yeah, anyway, so no, there isn't anyone. Uh, Fen Fatel, get to fuck. Uh, but you know, that's, that's just how I feel. Um, I, you know, me and Richie were talking about this the other day, and um, you know, the, the Milsim scene, environment, whatever, is, is in a really difficult place at the moment. Um, you know, I think Sterling are having a battle with getting places to, to play. I don't know if that's true, but that's what it feels like. Um, I, I wish that there was a lot more environments for them to use. I wish that there was a lot more urban environments that were not mod, so that we had the flexibility of doing whatever we like, right? I, I would love it if, you know, an old factory or an old school or an old premises um, came up that Sterling could use without the MOD fucking whinging about loads of shit. That's, that's what I would really like. Um, it's again why we've got so much that we can do down at the quarry. We've got 130 acres of active quarry and, you know, we can do whatever we like. Really, we could do whatever we like. You know, there's active pyro there during the week. 
So in the weekends, we can run active pyro. Um, you know, there's big enough to use any vehicles you want there. To be completely honest, <coughs> there's an airport not far from there. We could probably land some fucking helos in there if we really wanted to. Um, we can do whatever we like, and, and that's the advantage of, of having a site like that. Um, and there isn't many of them in the UK, so mm, who knows? Richie's famous on Femme Fatale's channel. Richie is always famous on all channels. Um, Scambo, if you want to collab, just ask. I have no thanks. If I'm going to have anyone out of rag, it'll be, it'll be Smallsy. Uh, uh, Dad, sorry. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, THG is not going to become a poser airsoft channel. I'm sad now. Um, no, I, I, I couldn't give a fuck about what people think. You know, we just like to review stuff. We get sent some cool shit. Uh, me and Richie also buy a lot of, of stuff that we like, so we do videos on it. It's as simple as that. Um, guys that are on Instagram, um, might be best jumping off over onto YouTube. Um, set that out a call for a hand job. Um, Craig Mullen, good question. Um, the safety of tag rounds. Uh, I have had them shot at me as an individual. I've had them shot at me in a vehicle. Uh, and I've also shot them at vehicles and at people. Uh, not once have I seen someone be injured to a point where I've been worried. Uh, I've had people cry about them and I've had people whinge about them to my face uh, and get upset about tag rounds coming in close. Um, I think that Dependent upon how they are used and how you fire them, I think that is very detrimental as to what I would class as safe. I watched a, a video recently with someone in it, one of my mates, and he's literally firing the gun like that at people. So, you know, dead fucking flat at people in woodland. Uh, and I thought to myself, shit, like, people moaned about me using them. This motherfucker's shooting them at people like 30 metres away, dead flat, you know. But uh, I like to arch them in on people. I wouldn't always say that it's like this, because that is, isn't the case. It is at a bit of an angle, but I always try and engage people at like 50, 60, 70 metres plus uh, with, with the pirate gun and with tags. Um, I think that you're more likely to get hot hurt, like seriously hurt from an airsoft gun than you are from a tag round. They're big and they're soft, and they're very, very light. You know, being hit with this, which is foam at the end, even if it was hit with you before it went off and it hit you, um, it's not going to do much damage. Uh, if it goes off near you, it's again, they, they fracture, but it's not going to do much damage. It's super light. Uh, you're going to get hurt much more from being hit close with the BB. Uh, so that's my thoughts on them. I think they're, they're, they're inherently very, very safe. There is a video of Novrich. Uh, like him or hate him, he gets shot in the back with an impact by about 15 metres. It leaves a bit of a black mark on his jacket, which is more soot than anything else, um, but it doesn't hurt him. So I, I think they're, they're very, very safe in comparison to some of the other stuff that's out there. Just my opinion. Don't have to listen if you don't want to. Uh, so guys, anyone that's watching over on Instagram, go to YouTube, because uh, everyone's watching on there. Thanks, guys. All right, let's just bring that one up. Okay. Who you got tomorrow? Khabib or Portier? Oh, man's killing me with these questions. Uh, Clay, Craig Mullen retracted a message. Um, let's just get rid of that. This guy. Okay. Let's have a look. Questions. Okay, so Richie, we may have to have a bit of a discussion. I've just seen the rules have changed from Bradley Harmon uh, about Stanta, and it says no lasers of any kind. So that means not even IR that was written in the first agreement. So that kind of fucking sucks. Brad, if you can give me any clarity on that, the first one said that you could use IR lasers, now they're saying you can't. Um, can you let me know what the fucking crack is? Because if you can't use IR lasers, it's going to be pretty fucking shit. People are going to get traced to death. Uh, okay. Uh, sorry, I'm going to go back through these questions. Uh, uh, the lawsuit about her using my pictures without my consent is still going through. Fucking what a rat she is. 
Uh, OTHG is going to become a post. Oh, we haven't been through these. Sorry, guys. I'm rereading the shit. Uh, how often do you have the ch chance to use your nods this year? Uh, I've used my nods about four or five times. Four times, I think. Uh, you're more likely to get hurt from a BB than tag. Agreed. Uh, have you ever gained with a HPA? No. Can't even get through to the rest of the question. No. I would never go near a HPA. They fucking suck. Uh, who you got tomorrow? Khabib or Portier? Uh, I'm going to go Portier just because I don't like Khabib. Um, but I think if it goes to the ground, Khabib will murder him. Uh, I'm speaking to them about that as it's a joke. Yeah, Brad, speak to them because I think they're going to lose a lot of people. Uh, if they are not running, if they, there's no point running through the night um, if you can't use IR, uh, unless you've got Gen Freezer using tracers and, and you can get behind your optic. Uh, in which case, I'll have to swap out the razor for the for the short for the um, crossfire. Uh, a guy in our section took a tag round to the face, was initially shocked, took a couple of cuts to his top lip, but other than that, he recovered well. There you go. How close was it, Craig? How close was the tag fired before it hit him in the face? Better than losing teeth. Scambo's got it. I know Sam Wills got hit with one and was upset about it. it spilled coffee down him. Um, right, uh, guys, if you are on the channel, um, please drop a like on the video. That'd be fucking awesome. 26 people watching, it'd be absolutely epic. Um, if you could just drop a like. If we can get to 20 likes, another four would be really, really cool. Um, so if you are watching, please drop a like on the video, that'd be ace. Uh, what's your opinion on top M4 shell ejecting? No, shell ejecting is shit. Get, just don't do it. Other thing that we have to use is bios. Fuck me, they best be fucking supplying bios then. Jesus Christ. Bait the big neck all up his gut. <laughs> Sorry boys, I was just about to tell you about this great pill. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, Ryan. Look at this padlock, I've got me M4 so my dogs don't steal me a shell ejecting gun. I was at Care when went right in front as he was laying down. It was in Care when went off right in front as he was laying down. Oh shit. <laughs> got clapped up. Um, yeah, that's bad news. Hopefully he's all right and he didn't suffer any any damage. Um, yeah, that is a little bit risky. Uh, so I airburst one of these over a sniper, not on purpose. Uh, so I was shooting towards a load of guys on where I thought fire was coming from, and it was still in the air. It must have been about four feet off the ground, and it's come over the top of this burn like there's a hill. And it's gone over the top, and then I just saw it in the air going boom. I saw this guy stand up in a leaf suit with his sniper rifle. This was at Defiant, and he was like fucking rattled. I was with Richie, uh, as usual, uh, and yeah, just rattled this fucking sniper with one of these, and it just air burst over the top of him. Uh, Scambo like that, you blew off a carbon paper pyro. Scambo was there, it was there, it was all getting hairy, people were shouting at each other and everything. So this geezer had a 60 inch plasma in the back of his telly, uh, a telly in the back of his car. He had, um, I think it was a Hulk Rolex, the uh, 1990 edition. Uh, he had a couple of other nice bits in there as well, all on his back seat laid out nicely. Uh, Fabergé egg. Um, some uh, 15th century Ming silk, uh, I think it was from like one of the Ming dynasty uh, silk pieces. Uh, what else did he have? Uh, an invention by Van Gogh uh, and a couple of other things all laid out on his back seat when the pyro went in and it just fucked all of it. Uh, literally just fragmented, this paper pyro went in, shoof, mate, fucking shrapnel, teflon, fucking nuts and bolts, literally tore the car to bits. Roof was fucking bent back, it was gnarly. Absolutely gnarly. Um, to be fair, it was a wicked shot from Op 4. Yeah, fucking fair play to them. I know Brooksy and all those boys were on uh, were on Op 4. They don't mess about them, lads. Oh, mate, like a tin can, like, like a fucking sardine can. Roof straight back. 
I'll keep hitting the bottom of this with this pyro ring waiting for it to go off. Um, probably stop doing that. If one of them bounce about. Uh, so, you know, I, I'm not an issue with tags. I shoot them at people, people shoot them at me, I'm cool with it. Uh, I'd much rather be hit with a tag than hit with a fucking, than, than be hit with a, a gun from Camo Raids. Um, you know, that's the worst thing. I, that's the, this is the fucking thing I'm worried about being shot at with, is one of these fucking things. Do you know what I mean? Um, I know so many of you guys now have gone and bought up uh, guns from Camo. Uh, obviously Miguel and Merrick uh, are fucking wizards when it comes to these things. I'm more bothered about being, uh, I'm more bothered about being shot at with one of them than I am uh, with a tag round, to be completely honest. Right guys, 67 minutes, been on there way too long. I've not got a drink, it's Friday night, should be drinking. So, uh, let's say whatever time is left, three minutes. So guys, three minutes, get your questions in and I will answer them. And if not, this will go back up uh, for other people to watch and enjoy the humour of our incredible audience. Uh, you guys are funny. And also ripping their soft action was really funny too. Uh, speak to combat waiting on a reply. Yes, yeah, tell them mate, like people can have been their event off ASAP. Craig, thank you so much mate, it's fucking awesome. Um, Brad peeking. Yay. Yeah. So if we're getting test questions in, I know there's a little bit of a delay. And I'll start flying through the questions. We have two minutes remaining. Love the strength of the spring on this. It's going to be one of those things. I've listened to that, Richie. You'll appreciate this. Absolutely, just so nicely made. Even the engraving is super good. Look, uh, what they're going to do? Ban us? <laughs> you, uh, you know. I just, it's silly. They're just going to fuck themselves up. Thoughts on the new TN, TM FN pistol. I actually like it, the, the FN 45. Yeah, I like it. Um, I do like it. I just don't like it enough. It feels like the TAC 45. If you've got big hands, it's a great gun. If you're Winks uh, and you've got hands the size of a fucking A4 bit of paper, um, then I think you'll enjoy it. But um, if you've got smaller hands, uh, it just feels like a very big pistol. Um, I know there's quite a few people that have gone out and got them, but it feels big in your hands. I think you should give it to me. No. 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 It's my French impression. If you ask me if I can speak French, I'll tell you yes every time. And then just go no to everything. Uh, get a new LMG. Yep, yeah, got one pre-ordered. <laughs> Pre-order's down. You. Yeah. Pre-ordered it. The, se the second that I could pre-order it from Camo Raids, I pre-ordered it. Mark 46 gang. It's going to get fucking everything, that gun. It's going to be 450 FPS. Love it. Four 450 FPS. Locked to semi. So it's classed as a DMR. But it's going to have a fucking 3,000 round box mag. <laughs> now we're talking. Now we're fucking talking. Uh, fitted a ball gear hop up on my AK LMG. It's a game changer. I don't know what any of that is. Highly overpriced in my opinion. Charles, you haven't seen it yet. You haven't seen it. Wait till you've seen it. Wait till you've seen it and shot it. Then give me your own opinion. You've only seen pictures right now. You're judging something from pictures. Uh, what gun from Real Steel would you like to see in Airsoft made? Oh. S the, the short scar. The scar with the collapsible stock. Richie, what's it called? Richie will know. Uh, there's a scar with a collapsible stock. That's the one I want. Is it Scar S? I think it's called the Scar S. That's what I want. Um... Yeah, it's a scar with a collapsible stock. Uh, you get what you pay for. No, my classic army will be better. I, I, okay then, mate. I will uh, just just let you let you crack on with that one, bro. Uh, can't beat the CM16 with a box, man. 
hat. What gun do you hate the most? Uh, fuck knows. Anything that isn't a TM. Oh no, what do I hate the most? Well, what's them fucking Firehawk? Firehawk, P90's up there, G36 is up there, Fowl's up there. Uh, what else is up there? L85, they're fucking shit. Loads of stuff. I don't like much. I'm a miserable cunt. Um, most of you will learn to know this. Actually, as a person, I'm really salty. Famas, yeah, they're fucking ugly. M4, they're shit. SR25, they're shit. AR15, 416, 417, they're all shit. AK, shit. Org, shit. AK-74U, shit. Shotguns are shit. Everything's shit. I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> uh, would you run a Marui GGBR scar? Yes, 100%. Furby for the win, you've got it. Yeah, I would. Uh, to be fair, his Classic Army 46 is mental, but there isn't any Classic Army left in it. Oh, I get it, all you good guys with your tricked out cheap guns. I oh, ain't joking. Uh, ARP9 can burn. Yeah, it's fucking that one can go in the bin. All M4s can go in the bin. Um, any AR15 platform gun can go in the bin. Any 5.56 platform can go in the bin. Any 7.62 platform can go in the bin. Unless it's a 3.38 Lapura, I don't give a shit. I ain't joking. Uh, poor man noises. <laughs> I fucking love Brad. He gets me all the time. Uh, unpopular opinion ban ARP series. I just, I don't even know what an ARP is. Wait till you see the. Oh, mate. Helium stocks are not one, mate. Air stock gang. Air stock. If any of you guys are running an air stock, Go back through your Instagram photos, find you air stocking and delete the photo before it goes up in a fucking compilation of all you cunts air stocking. Uh, what about ball pop scars? Who isn't a ball pop scar? Um, I'll bring my ARP9 to stand with a drum mag, do it. Brad will be the most popular person there. Uh, I just want to see everyone go back and delete all their air stock photos because there's too many of them. Uh, Brad, you don't need to fit in, mate. Don't try and fit in. Be the odd one. Be the odd one out. Be the emo. Be the goth. Be the oddball. Right, I'm bouncing. Told you all the guns I hate. Told you about the new shit that I've got. Ain't I cool? Um, Told you about the events I'm doing. Told you about what me and Richie are doing. Uh, that's it. I think we're done. It's an aftermarket kit that turns the scar. I have seen it, what you're on about. I have seen it. Yeah, you put the upper on, don't you? It's just the scar upper. It's fucking awful. Don't do it. Die 4 is coming as well. Oh, Brad, mate. You're just going to get shanked. Shanked in the neck with a sharpened toothbrush. That's what's going to happen. Quick shank. And just watch you bleed out and then probably uh, just just leave your body there we won't we won't take anything because it will all be terrible kit but um, you will probably get shanked from with a toothbrush right I'm going been here 75 minutes holy shit I love you all all every single one of you this video is probably gonna get deleted I might leave it up for 24 hours and I'm gonna delete it but there is lots of videos coming to the uh, channel soon. We are going to be at Stanta, then we're probably going to be at the Trees, then we're running NVG1. Uh, we will be doing more events. If you want to come and hang out with us at one of our events, make sure you sign up to them early. They fucking sell out well quick. The NVG1 sold out uber fast. Uh, we're going to do the basics next. We're going to do sort of, you know, THG1. Um, we love all you guys to come down. Your EE lads, guys from Titan, all the rest of you want you to come down. You definitely need the help. So uh, please come down, joking. Right, peace.